Yeah, he is. Come on now. The summer league champ, baby. All right, now, be honest. How does it feel? Man, I don't know, man. It's just summer league. Like, just, I feel like I'm just getting started right now. Oh, you definitely just heating up, though. Come on now. I am seeing lots of positive engagement on social. Oh, Let's yeah? hear a little bit. And people won't admit it, but he loves that stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Admit it? Like, I mean, yes, I'm human, but no. I like compliments, too. Oh, especially <clears> when they deserve. That's him. I imagine not wanting MP over Shep. Could never be me, fam. Uh, oh, I'm going to name my firstborn son after MP. Fast cap. Wow. Oh, that's cap. Mm. Mm. Hey, Ashley, you want to just uh, read it with feeling next time? <laughs> just a suggestion. Yo, yo. Thank you for the recap and all, but I was, you know, hoping that maybe we could, you know, look forward and talk about something that's possibly coming up, you know? Okay, yeah. eyes on the prize, I that's love it. it. All right, Ashley, go. Uh, you have a meeting with Freddie Novak, okay. new head of brand and marketing. He wants to talk to you about some of the PR initiatives he's spearheading. Lots of data-driven stuff, how to leverage research into results. I think you'll like it. Yeah, I actually read an article about him in the pin down. He's oh. a very, very interesting hire. That's mm -hmm. right. Very. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just to put this on your radar, we got you a spot on Top Takes Daily. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Yeah. yeah, we don't have a date set uh, just yet, but it should be sometime in the next two weeks, and it's going to be a great opportunity to take control of the post-draft narrative. Cool. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there anything else that we got? That's it for now. Mainly, we just want you to focus on ball, man. Psh, man, y'all taking care of everything. I appreciate it. <laughs> like, for real. You already know, this ain't our first rodeo, kid. Oh, well, it is Mila's first rodeo. Okay, technically it's your second. So. Oh, Not I've that been as the old MP since like eighth grade. Oh, That's like wait, wait. 20 rodeos. Hold on, 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 hold on. We're not talking about MP here. Wait, at bro, all. Bro, come on, man. I mean, this whole agency is devoted to you right now. You can't be jealous, are you? Fam, you serious right now? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Relax. Uh, <laughs> Smile, man. That's scary, funny. Man. Look, go to your meeting with Freddie and then holler at me when you're done. All right, fam. Ricky? Ricky gone. Text Ricky, I'm canceling lunch. You feel good about all this? I feel great. Okay, good. I feel good. It's a long-term game, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just taking it step by step. That's it, that's all we could do right now. Pace ourselves. Let's do it. Okay. Getting top takes on the phone. All right. Hey, how you doing? MP, nice to meet you. Oh, you know my name. It would be weird if I didn't. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> You're right on time for your meeting with Mr. Novak. Elevator's over there. Cool, cool. Yeah, thank you so much. Olive. Olive. Wow, that's a nice name. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you, Olive. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to the team. Thank you. MP, it's going great on, to man. finally meet you. Oh, pleasure's all mine, man. Hey, I read the article about you in the pen down. You're one data obsessed cat, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can never have too much data. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you came. Uh, look, this Shep thing, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. We're gonna need to put in some work to make sure it doesn't have a negative impact on the start of your career. Okay, yeah, so just like work hard, play well, make people forget Shep ever existed. Yes and no. Let's say we put you in the starting lineup tomorrow and you stumble a little bit. Normally, no big deal. Mm -hmm. But 68% of our fans wanted Shep. And of that 68%, 95% have a highly unfavorable opinion of you. Okay, so that's basically corporate speak for they hate my guts. Correct. Yeah. Which means it becomes a story. Papers in this town are out for blood. I'm sure you saw the top take segment. Oh, I did. Okay, look. There's no reason to think that you're not going to take off right out of the gate. But any hiccup in your play, and we've got a distraction on our hands. It's bad for your growth, bad for team chemistry, and it makes Phil Boyer look bad. Mm -hmm. He stuck his neck out for you on draft night. Okay, so what's the solution? Glad you asked. We identify key influencers in our biggest target demos and we develop strategy to win their affections. Wait, wait, so you're telling me my playing time is dependent on what? 
whether Johnny TikTok thinks I'm based or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, it's ridiculous. But everything's connected. And if we don't deal with this in a holistic manner, it could affect the bottom line. And when the bottom line's affected, the governors aren't happy. And when the governors aren't happy, nobody's happy. Okay. Um, I just want to be a pillar in this community, man. So if we can find a way to make this, you know, win the city initiative, be a part of that, I'm sold. But I also don't want to do a bunch of PR fluff, though. Same page, 100%. Look, I've already talked with your whole team about this impressive group of people, by the way, and they're going to take a lead on it, okay? But my door is always open. Freddie, man, I appreciate your transparency, man. Truly. Just doing my job. Believe me, it is an honor to work with someone as talented as you, MP. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish together. Kid. What's going on? Yo, I appreciate you being here, but like I said, I ain't gotta do this. What? This is, this is the in-person treatment that you hired me for. Look, just remember this day when Barry and Associates shows up, trying to see if you need a new agent, all right? <laughs> I, I, yo, fair enough, man. So where do we start, man? Let's, let's, let's go on this little tour. Well, are you ready, Saya? Don't do that. Cut the little butler act, man. Act normal, bro. All right, yeah, that ain't even feel right. That, yeah, it was all right, well, check it out, check it out. First up, we have the only runway in the world that can compete with Paris Fashion Week. <laughs> yeah, bro, that looks like a pretty normal hallway to Yeah, me. to the untrained eye, it's a normal hallway. But we both know that them pregame walks have made fashion icons out of Russell Westbrook, SGA, LeBron James. <laughs> I mean, the branding possibilities are endless, man. All right, I see you. Now, look, once you get some shine on the court, you know, get in your fashion bag, photographer's gonna be all over you, bro. And the best part is, all you gotta do is show up ready to work, look and fly. Come on, and I, and I can do that, can't I? Yeah, maybe with a little bit of help you can. Sure, I get fly, hey, I get look, fly look, to it you. It don't even matter. Right now, I just want you to focus on your game, right? Fashion can come later. All right, so check this out. Talk to me. Down this way, you got the press room. Now, anytime you got some post-game media availability, this is where you're going to want to go. Okay. Now, Ashley will meet you tonight after the game to walk you over, you know, give you some more pointers, but mm -hmm. typically it's going to be on you to make sure you don't miss these opportunities. Sure. I mean, opening yourself up more for the press is just better for you. I mean, but you're a natural-born leader. You get that. Bro, I do this, man. I could do media in my sleep. <laughs> all right, you know this. <laughs> well, one more note on that. The media's allowed all through this hallway. So you might get stopped for press time just when you're walking around. And because I said that, you are under the microscope here, all right? Oh, so you gotta Act make... accordingly. That's all I'm saying. You ain't got to make it sound so intense, man. I got this. All right. What else you got for me? All right, well, down here is also the arena manager's <laughs> office. <laughs> Probably not going to go there much, but, you know, just so you know. And also there's your standard generic meeting room. Now, once again, you're probably not going to use it much, but, I mean, could come in handy if you need to have a private conversation. Right, right. Away from the prying guys at the tabloids, right? Yes! Look at you paying attention. I, I like that. a little that. bit, man. <laughs> and then down further a little bit this way, you've got the locker room. And looks like Coach Graves is waiting for you, actually. Okay. Uh, anything else? That's it. Now, I got to shake some hands before the nice game, but, uh, you go out there and have fun, man. Appreciate it, man. Again, man, it's always good seeing a familiar face in new settings. Man, don't even mention it. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Have a great game, man. All right, man. You're here nice and early. Love to see it. Just doing my job, coach. Humble and hardworking. Both qualities you like to see in a draft pick. But you already knew that. <laughs> Let me show you the locker room. Let's do it. So obviously you've seen one of these before. Nothing too unusual. Your locker's over there. The one with my name on it, right? <laughs> Quick study. We put the starter's name on the whiteboard over here before every game. Coach likes to keep things regular, but obviously injuries happen. People perform or they don't, so it'll change from time to time. All right, well, hopefully it changes sooner rather than later. Keep doing the right things. You'll be there sooner than you think. Hey, that's the plan. Right, hey, come on, let me show you my office. Come on. In. Now, I know you're anxious to find out how you're going to fit into the rotation. Coach, man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hyped, man. You got no idea. Like I said, we wanted to see how you performed under pressure, so we put a lot of weight in your performance in the Summer League Championship. Yeah, you were very clear about that. Good. So, we got together and talked about it and decided the best role for you to start the year is as a solid rotation player off the bench. We'll get you the minutes. It's up to you to make the most of them. That's not exactly what I was expecting, but I guess it's up to me to earn my way into the starting lineup. And you've got the potential to get there. But I don't want you focusing on that right now. 
Take it one day at a time, put in the work, and the results will follow. I've never been afraid of work, you know? It's just I expect more for myself than this in the long term. I get it, 100%. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you didn't feel that way. You wanna make it here, you gotta have a hunger to be the best. I mean, if you're not competing to be the best here, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly, doing? exactly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you wanna get dressed, you know where your locker is, and once you're ready to head to the court, it's a tunnel across from the locker room. Any questions? Ah, cool shit, I'm ready. Let's get it. See you out there. Just about kill street clothes off the game. You don't want to get the press release in your jersey. Okay. Basically, this is very different than 2K, but I can't wait. Yeah. Oh my, James Harden with a statement right there. MP with it. And there's the drive. And the lamp is good off the glass. Both teams are hot. Woo! This is a fun one to watch. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. Here's Harris. Orford pulls it in. Good shot. Gone bad. Got to finish there. Here's Mann. And he was fouled while in the end. Good call, man. First, Shake Milton. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. You, you know, in the past several throws, seasons, MP. there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be on. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. The drive by man over Dragic. The kick to Tatum. Pass to man. Back to Tatum, goes up again, and he lays it in. Tatum's got his second bucket on the night. Two for two, he's in his rhythm. This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort, love the energy. Pass to Brogdon. And here's MP. Now here's Gallinari. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Well, some contact there. Question. Powered it down. Well, Dragic has such an incredible feel for the game. Understands where to deliver the pass and when. Galadari with a screen on Dragic. Here's Mann. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Mann's got five points. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. And that streaking rack attack is the formation point on that break. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Celtics and their fans. I think one thing that makes them unique, it isn't just the state of Massachusetts, right? It's the entire region of New England. And both free throws good for MP. There's 40. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Here's Mann. He has seven. Pass to Gallinari. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Man's got his third assistant. Now Harris. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Jogic outside. From deep three-point range. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is up for four. He's turned it on here in the second quarter, getting his offensive game on track. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. The drive by man, and he gets that one. Man's got nine. Well, exposing a weakness. Down. A sequence you might expect from Embiid, an elite rebounder, and the man knows how to finish. Gallinari with a screen on Dragic. MP, the pass to Smart. MP outside. Pass to Tatum. From outside the arc. Good. And the assist goes to MP. 
Durant's got four. Dragic has got ten points in the game. Good release on the mid-range by Dragic there. This guy is always going to take what the defense concedes. Outside Gallinari. Back to man. Gallinari with a screen on Harris. Oh, and there's the whistle. Two free throws for him coming up. Well, he's still scoring, but he's gotten away from his first quarter approach when he was attacking the defense and drawing foul after foul. Fifth point, James Harden has put his imprint all over this basketball game, and the defense better find a way to figure him out soon. Williams, a screen on Harden. Outside, Williams. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. The 76ers have gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Inside. Pass to Tucker. There's the three. And he can't get that one. And Boston going the other way now. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. MP, the pass to Gallinari. Back to man. And a nice finish on the layup. Man's got 12 points in the game. Danilo he can still offer great shooting at the forward spot and was a nice signing by Boston. To the inside, his man. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Brogdon's got three assists in the game. Just five on the clock. Here's Tucker. Rebounded by Brogdon. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Rebuilding a team is his chance. Get a photo of that scoreboard. This must be twice as big. I think BA, certainly those smaller markets, face some challenges that larger markets do not. But I would also point to the success of Milwaukee. They have <laughs> a lot can be said about the contract Harden took to stay in Philly. He took less than what he commanded to help the team sign depth and rotation players. A very big gesture from Harden showing just how much he wants to win in Philly. MP, the pass to Williams. Philadelphia foul. Joel Embiid. Fifth personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line. And he sinks the second. Satisfied. He said, quote, I just got to be better. I have to elevate my level for main one. Plenty of runway to do it, Alec. Thanks. And that one misses. And he's going to the line for two. That one misses. Boston's got four of eight attempts to fall from deep here in the third quarter. They get it back. Here's Mann. Yes. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Mann's got eight points in the quarter. They to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. Stolen by MP. Left side Gallinari. MP against Dragic. Gallinari with a screen. Gallinari. And he oh, lobs it up. And Gallinari Let's throws go. it down. First lob for the pass, The catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw dropping. There's third. It's a second year. Just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. And for a player with the speed and quickness of Maxi, Grant leveling up that three-point shot changes everything for him. Oh, so true, B.A. It becomes pick your poison with him. And it put him in a conversation last year for most improved player. Outside Tatum takes a three. Knocks down the long chain. Quite from the moment he entered the league, Jason Tatum has proven to... Embiid, a screen on MP. Shot from 12. No good off the back of the rim. And here's Boston. Down by 12. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. 
Pass to Horford. That's the cash. Oh, it's MP bad. picking up the assist. Man's got eight assists here tonight. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. <laughs> Five consecutive buckets. The second half. I like watching him beat attack on the inside, using his size and soft touch to capitalize. MP, the pass to Williams. On the wing, Tatum. MP against Harden. Horford, a screen on Harden. Pass to Horford. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with a win in the first game. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Joel Embiid. Boy, this guy played with some swagger and intensity on the boards tonight, dominating the physical aspect of the game. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. MP outside. Outside, Brown. Horford, a screen on Maxi. And MP with a basket on the assist by Brown. Jalen Brown has improved as a setup guy. That pass was on time and on target. Now here's Harden. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. They have to feel good about this performance. It's Hey, I'm here. You need in the press room. Thank you. Hey, MP, how was the game? You look really good out there. How are you feeling out there? Hey, how are you feeling? Also, you're needed in the press room. Okay, so we could just skip the small talk then. She sounds depressed. I'm going to give you a rundown of the situation. We don't have much time, so I need you to listen closely because I will not be repeating myself. Okay, okay, I'm all ears. Obviously, they're going to want to ask questions about how you played. So if you feel like you underperformed at all, you're going to want to call on oh, John Luck. If you feel like you underperformed at all, you're going to want to call on John Luck because his whole thing is access, so he's bound to lob you a softball or two. If Got you're it. feeling confident, you're going to want to call on Nate White, the Nate man White. fans love to hate. His number one goal is to stir up controversy, so if you messed up even a little bit, he's going to be all over that. Also, he's going to have a couple Shep questions to throw your way. So if you want to get into that, then he's your guy. The other major player on the beat is Candace Green. She's not here today, but she likes to get into the longer view of things, really get into the X's and O's. So if you want to brag about your basketball IQ, she is your person to call on. OK. All right. Um, hey, is there uh, someone that you would choose first if you were me? Is there a conversation I should stay away from, you know? That is completely up to you. Yeah. What you say in that room is going to go a long way in establishing your identity as a leader and your personal brand. Okay. And though I might have ideas about what you should say in a given situation, I can't tell you who to be. Yeah. Now, that doesn't mean you should go starting any giant PR nightmares, no, no, okay? No, no. But there is more than one way to skin the proverbial cat, if you follow me. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Um, any more advice? Yeah. <laughs> Lots, but you're needed inside. Go. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> <clears throat> we are indeed. All right, look, I just gave you a lot of information in a short amount of time. And what I want you to know is that what drew me to you as a potential employer was your grace under pressure. I've just always really respected the way that you handle yourself in the press, and I, you're I think you're gonna do a fantastic job in there. Wow, you uh, you really fought through that one. Um, but thank you. It's probably one of the nicest things you said to me. All right. You really need to get in there. They get cranky if they think they're gonna miss deadlines. I so. got you. I'm in there. Come on, let's go. Sup? Hey, everyone. Uh, it's got a date. All right, man, you up first right here. I mean, I don't want to be an instigator, but it's got a sting coming out so flat in your NBA debut. What do you wish you could have done differently? Uh, I can see the kind of reporter that you're going to be. Uh, 
I wish we could have got the win. Yeah, I mean, okay, right. That's a political good answer, but I mean, you personally, what could you have done differently to get a win? Make shots, get stops. I mean, it's a make or miss league, Nate. I mean, they made more shots than tonight, so they got the win. We just got to cash in on our opportunities next time, and we'll be all right. Okay, next question. John. There were a lot of media outlets in the preseason that made a big deal about the fan base's so-called negative reaction to you on draft day, but I did see quite a few people in the stands supporting you. Mm -hmm. Could you speak a little bit about that? The community is everything to me. Oh, yeah. Community. Community is everything to me, so it's very important for me to have the fans on my side. You know, with that being said, it's only up to me to give them reason to cheer, to smile, to have something to look forward to, you know, and with the season only just starting, you know, I'm not surprised if they're not fully on board yet. Okay, but is it fair to you to have to prove yourself like that? Is there any part of you that wishes you were perhaps given the benefit of the doubt? Eh, I mean, is it fair? I don't know. John, life ain't fair. <laughs> you know, my parents used to always tell me that when I felt bad for myself. Hmm. Wise words. Truly. You know, uh, but as far as, you know, getting the, the benefit of the doubt goes, I'm more comfortable being in a position where I got to prove myself. Always have, always will. You know, that's just a natural part of sports. You know, first you got to prove yourself to your teammates that you can be trusted to deliver. Then, if you do that and get results, the fans will follow. So, I'm not really worried about it. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> I'm sure the fans will love that quote, MB. Yeah, man. Hey, thanks for your time. Anytime, brother. No more questions? Cool. Gotta take it easy. <laughs>